to guys, this exact game I can tell you something about it. Um, it's it's a little bit I didn't want to actually um, well record it because well it, it's kind of simple to you know who the winner is, but it actually started a bit um, not so well, <laughs> a bit better actually. So. Um, it became to be interesting and sorry that I didn't actually um, manage to, to record that moment but uh, as you can see it's not very unequal um, yeah, the shares of the kills for each and everything uh, but on the other hand uh, we have we had, we had four or five towers and that's why we got Samuru and uh, Zoo as you can see and I'm playing as Nazifo and those characters are very 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 <coughs> OP here on this map alright I <laughs> in this game but it, it, it's not sure that we will win by the way uh, they they have also the Auric, Asmodan, Kasha it, it's like uh, it's like uh, we, we are very even we, we are kind of even kind of even but Samuru on this map Samuru guys is like maybe that, that's the one of the most OP heroes if uh, the player can actually play. That's not the best samurai I have seen, but uh, he's kind of managing. So, yeah, you you saw, now, now they they actually uh, took our advantage of, so uh, as you can see, it, it's not so uh, much fun. Again, that's not interesting, it's actually they can win. I, I, would, I most probably would, would bet even on them if I wasn't playing because that can change things um, but that's a factor actually I think myself of uh, much above the average player so yeah if I manage to, to do my rotations do my uh, job the best I can, I can actually uh, a little bit influence the balance, but um, what's more important is um, that actually maybe at this point we, we have two levels of advantage um, close, wow Yeah, those guys are not bad at all. So, uh, yeah, Samuro is making so much advantage in um, in terms of pushing. So, uh, it's very, it's very, very interesting. Kid. And by the way, I call on my new monitor and I haven't adapted with it yet, so it's a little bit. Uh, bigger than the old one, so uh, it, you, you understand that there is some difference, and you have to just like uh, well, you, you need like a week to adapt, and it, it's the second day, so uh, that may have some effect. On, you understand that there are so many small factors, and if you combine them. Uh, they are starting to play a role and th that's how the world actually works it is in mostly in the in everything it is. Oh, well. extremely 
Elikas to server. First thank you. Second. My tool here, but I didn't see what happened. <laughs> and now, as you can see, they have a little bit of advantage uh, in terms of the once again pushing them. Our towers are on lower health. But it's the thing is that if we manage to kill them, for example, even once. They're talking. Oh, that objective is not yet taken at all. The other thing actually. Wow. Oh, that's so fucked up. That's so fucked up. I don't even know how. Some, some kind of light cast, so say. Kind of glitch. That could be used. So as you can see, Samuel is pushing extremely easy and his images are, so uh, in other terms, his, his clones are actually doing some damage to the buildings and um, he's very fast, uh, he can actually hide or uh, shroud uh, if you wanna use that, that, that term that. That, that was uh, coming from World of Warcraft and uh, most Blizzard games can turn invisible and uh, become uh, like untargetable. And that, that, that is very interesting because um, actually if you have a, a splendid like an average single player on some maps he is uh, giving your team so much advantage. But that, that's maybe why uh, Heroes of the Storm actually didn't um, become a very, very um, famous game like, uh, for example, League of Legends and other uh, MOBA games. That, that's because um, it, it's not very balanced. It, it's like most of the Blizzard stuff is not very balanced, actually. And uh, if I have to be precise... Oh, we took all towers. I have to be, I think, yeah. If I have to be precise about that, um, I don't appreciate that. I mean, Wizards has so, so much potential, um, some of the most interesting um, and most engaged game ever, and um, they're like the kings of fantasy games. Um, not the first company, but one of the best and uh, still the balance in most of their games is like sucking 